So this is a 1959 4104 bus. So you can see here, 1959. Um, it's got a Detroit diesel in it. It also has a four speed unsynchronized manual transmission. And we are about to start it up. So I'm gonna make sure she's in neutral. So to start this thing, this is to turn the voltage on for just the starter. You just turn this from right to left and I'll hold that button and she should go. We do need our fuel pump on. Let's see if she fires. Oh yeah. So these are our four airbags here and sometimes it takes upwards of 30 minutes for the bus to air up. So while I wait for it to air up, um, I figure I'd talk about the bus a little. So this is my first manual, actually my first diesel, is my first any big vehicle operation and it's intimidating man, it's 26,000 pounds and it's also an unsynchronized manual which means it's not just Yo, you want second? All right, bring it back to where second should be. No, 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 you gotta plan your shifts, and you'll see what I mean in a second when I explain double clutching and stuff, but it's intimidating. I think I'm finally at a, at a spot where I can safely operate this, but what's crazy is you don't even need any sort of commercial license for this, and it's 26,000 pounds, it's 35 feet, it's old as hell, six, over 60 years old, 69 years old, I mean, I don't know, that seems kind of crazy to me. Why would they let some idiot like me drive it? I don't know, but I'll try and take, or I do try and take as much safety precautions as possible. Um, yeah. So I'll give you a quick walk around. Um, obviously this is the back. That's the left side. The left side is definitely the prettier side. Right side has some window issues, cracked. Um, windows are impossible to find on these old buses. The glass goes out and there's just no way to replace it. So that's gonna be like it is. Yeah, the front's pretty cool. On In route, as you can see. Um, Colorado, there's, it should be a giant uh, GMC thing here, but I don't know what happened to that, it's too bad. Um, it's been to some truck shows, American Truck Historical Society. I actually inherited it from my grandpa, and he drove one of these um, for Greyhound, and when he retired, he bought one just to drove around and bring to truck shows. So that's how it fell into my hands. And today, I'm gonna take you for a drive and see this big Detroit run. I'll give you a glimpse inside. Okay, so our air is finally at a spot where we're gonna be able to take off right here. See, they're all hovering around 20 to 30. That's all right, they'll level out. These are actually self-leveling air systems for the suspension, so yeah, we'll take off here in a second. All right, so probably the hardest part of this is backing out solo. I mean, it's a big bus. I do have mirrors, but you'll probably see me I'll probably end up getting out to look at least a few times. All right, so obviously this is a four speed. Here's your clutch. It's actually a pretty heavy clutch, it takes some effort. But so first, second, third, fourth. But it's not that easy when you're actually driving because they're unsynchronized. Oh, to get to second, I mean to get to reverse, go to first, press this button drag back to second, but you're actually in reverse right now. So I'm gonna lift the brake. Oh, that wasn't even on. Oh, it was. And you're gonna see me. Okay. Maybe that wasn't second. I mean reverse. Let's see here. Here we go. Alright. So 
So all I'm doing is I'm not giving it any gas. We're not supposed to feather this particular clutch with the gas. Just letting it out very slowly, letting it grab. That could be the wrong way to do it. That's just, I believe I read on a forum somewhere. That's what you're supposed to do with these old clutches. Again, I don't know much of anything about diesels and especially this diesel, it's very rare. There's not many of them around. So it's just been trial and error. So we'll see if we can get this done here. Just looking at my mirrors, gates opening behind me. Should be able to just keep going this way. Waiting to see the other side of the gate. All right, I should be good here. One thing this does need pretty badly is a backup camera because I just have no idea what's behind me. But I guess most trucks don't, so. All right. First, brakes off. Don't know what this dude's doing. He's going left, means we're good to go. So as I was saying before, first is a very short gear. See, I'm already at the top of first. But this is not a synchronized manual transmission, so to get to second, I'm gonna clutch in and hold it in neutral for a few seconds, and then lightly bring it back. See how it's grinding? It's not good. Back to neutral. There we go, there's second. So it's, it, when, I'm, when I say it's not synchronized, it means you can't just go first back to second and expect it to stick, because the gears have to line up. They're not synchronized for you, it's 60s technology. It kind of sucks. All right, we're gonna try for third here. Same principle, clutch in, neutral, wait a second, it's gonna grind a little bit, third. I shouldn't have shifted the third there, because now it's lugging, but that's all right. Just wanted to demonstrate. Actually, it's a good time to downshift here, so I'll show you how downshifting works. So you gotta go, we're in third right now, keep that in mind, three out of four. We're gonna clutch in, neutral, rev the shit out of it, because the second gear has to speed up, clutch in, bring it back to second. That's double clutching, ladies and gentlemen, and it took me a while to learn it. So we're back in second now, and with a bus like this, you should really be driving it in whatever gear you're in, it should be revlining. It's a two-stroke diesel and it doesn't have the best brakes. It's not like a modern truck. So engine braking is your friend on a 26,000 pound bus like this. I'm gonna clutch in neutral over to third, wait a little bit, feel it out. We're in third. Pick up some speed here. So we're coming up to a stoplight here. We're in third and we gotta hit second. So I'm slowing down a little bit. I'm in third now. I mean, I'm in neutral now. Grab the piss out of it, clutch back in. Reach back for second, got it. Clutch out. You can feel the engine brake really stop you there. We're gonna go for first. So I'm gonna hit neutral, rev the shit out of it. Back to first, I hit first, and that'll really slow you down. You can feel the bus creep. That's no brakes. The goal should be to never touch the brakes in a bus like this. Sometimes that's just unrealistic. Oh. So I'll show you how short first is, is again. First gear, takes off quick. I'm already capped out. I'm going maybe 10, 15 miles an hour. So I'm gonna clutch in, wait a second, slowly bring it back to second. I'm in second now, I didn't grind that one at all. Second, I think I might just stay in second, there's nobody behind me, I don't wanna get going too fast on these windy roads. Right here, I'm gonna go into first if I can. I hit first, but this is always a bit of a challenge. Taking these wide turns. Cars coming, try not to stall. Alright, we got some time right now. 
So you gotta take the turns real wide. There we go. Stay in first while these trucks pass. Then I'll hit second. So we're first, top of first. Neutral for a second. Slowly reach back towards second. Got second. I'll hit third here in a second. So there's a car behind me. Alright, we're top of second. Let's make it to this build down slope. Clutch in. Neutral. Over to th third and fourth. Forward a little bit. No grinding. Look at that. Now, a lot of people, when I posted a video to a forum on Facebook about this bus, they told me I should be, when I do something like that, I should be in second, clutch in, into neutral, clutch out, clutch back in, and then over to third. And I found that whenever I do that, it just doesn't work. I always end up grinding. So I don't know if it's something about this bus. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. But on the upshifts, I hardly ever double clutch. Or I don't double clutch. Downshifts, however, though, you most definitely need to double clutch only to bring the revs up because it's not synchronized. So we're moving pretty well right now. Maybe I shouldn't have hit third. It's kind of lugging, but I don't know. If you look behind me, there's about a, a 12 car pileup and I'm going a little bit under the speed limit, but I know there's a big downhill right here and I just don't want to risk shifting to third and I'm gonna lose a lot of engine braking there if I do end up going to third. So they're just gonna have to wait a little bit. At this light here, I'm gonna take a left. So I'm just gonna slowly creep down in second. And then I don't think I'm gonna have the ability to get to first. And since this is a pretty damn steep grade, so I think this is gonna be an engine brake plus brakes which is not ideal, but I just don't think putting the clutch in to try and get to first would be the smartest idea right now. I'm gonna get in this left lane, throw my blinker on. Oh, I hate touching the brakes this much. She handled though. Clutch is in, I'm gonna put it in first. And then I'm gonna Throw the air brakes on. Actually, I'm gonna throw it in neutral for now. It's a slow game. First here. And I'm actually gonna stay in first because I'm gonna get in this left lane right here to turn. Now this is kind of a tight turn, it's nothing crazy. So first but first already, clutch in, wait a second or two, neutral, pull it down to second. Now we're in second. So clutch in, neutral, over, slowly up to third, don't force it, boom, no grinding. And I found that just to work better, or in this particular bus, I found that to work better. Double clutching on the upshifts. I don't know why, whenever I try and double clutch on the upshift, it just grinds. And it doesn't make sense to me. Maybe it's something with the... Maybe it's something with the transmission linkage or something. I don't know. But through trial and error, I found that it does not work well when I double clutch on the upshifts. However, we're going to have to hit second here, as I know this is a tight... Tight, tight, tight. Not have hit third, but that's alright. There we go. So see how I was in neutral during that, and it wouldn't grab second because the engine was going too fast or too slow. So I had to put it back into neutral, and I had to let the clutch out because. If you keep the clutch in and you rev it, it doesn't spin the input shaft, but if you let the clutch out and you rev it, it spins the input shaft. Go 
in the gear. Holy shit. All right, we finally got stuck. See, that'll happen with an, that's what I mean by an unsupervised transmission. You can't just throw it into third. It's not gonna do it. You gotta understand how fast your input shaft's moving compared to where the gear is. So you could spend, I don't know, what was that? Five or six tries trying to get it back into gear on a misshift like that. That's, that's not entirely uncommon here. <laughs> 